The sole reason I got a bearded dragon is finally upon us. Huge feeder video, so if you're squirmish, this will definitely bring up your tolerance. You're welcome. These here are known as hornworms, and as you're about to see throughout the video, they get big extremely fast. All this footage was not filmed in one day. I do not recommend you feed all these feeders in one day. Now these here are wax worms, which are extremely high in fat. If you're trying to beef up a leopard gecko's tail, wax worms are the way to go. But since they're extremely fat, they should only be used as treats. These here are super worms. I know a lot of you guys are extremely squirmish about insects. Me myself am completely fine with super worms. Horn worms, I'm not. I'm not so fond of. Uh, KZE, what the hell was the moment we've been waiting for? The first thing I said was, I can't wait until Blem's older so I can buy her a thousand superworms. If you guys are wondering what the most affordable and best feeders I would recommend, I would definitely recommend superworms over dubias. Dubias go by super fast, that's the problem. The good thing about superworms is their exoskeleton is much softer than mealworms. If you're also wondering what's good to feed your feeder insects, Potato is the perfect way to feed them and hydrate them. Feed me daddy, feed me daddy, feed me daddy, daddy, feed me daddy. Me daddy, daddy, me daddy, daddy. Me the daddy. first time she tries wax worms. Hanzo loves wax worms. This year's Hanzo, my male Sunglo Raptor Leopard Gecko. And that's his baby mama peeking her head out. And I decided to name her Aurora. Oh. Since she has like a bit of blue in her eyes, a bit of white, and a bit of brown. You're trying to fatten up your gecko? I want you guys to go down to the comments and let me know how many of you guys are brave enough to actually pick up some of these superworms with your hand. Like I said, I'm not squirming about superworms. I'd completely put them in their place. I'd toss them around. It doesn't matter. I am currently working on breeding these superworms. To do that, it's pretty simple. Using some of these jello cups, I put an individual superworm in each of these jello cups and just leave them in a dark room. They'll eventually turn into beetles. I have around 200 superworms cupped up, so I'm hoping for 200 beetles. If they all had babies, I'd have unlimited supply of superworms, and I would just have to keep cupping up the supers to keep making beetles, and eventually maybe even sell them to reptile stores, sell them on Craigslist, you know? There's a lot of people looking for feeders. Oh, come. Look at that one. Holy sh. Bigger than my pinky now. Blame. Blame. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the first one more.
Look, oh, there she goes. And this here is the reason why these animals are called bearded dragons. As you can see, the beard, she only does this so often. Male bearded dragons are known to do this much more often to show their dominance. They're already on the floor. Hornworms go through a couple of different life cycles. They're the larvae, which is the hornworm itself. And then they turn into the cocoon, which you'll eventually see Blem eat. And finally into a moth, which is gross. <laughs> so, Glam, we going for a swim? <laughs> one of them turned into a cocoon. I've never seen a bearded dragon eat one of these. Oh my god. trying to even out the breeding colony so we took two males out for every male dubia there should be around five females so one guy gets five bitches what a dream okay so here we got two males she's gonna eat them you're gonna eat the males I know you guys were asking for a bearded dragon video. I have a leopard gecko update coming soon as well as a bird video. Oh, KZE, what the hell happened to all the baby birds? Let's just say I'm a fucking expert at counter suing child support. <laughs> That was a long one too, huh? Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZ underscore production.